What is up? Wait, what is up, guys? My name is Ryan Susan 18 on the Ryan Susan 18's Forever channel, and I'm here with a very special guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Jose Torres, man, and as long as it's fine Portuguese, man, we know wrestling and we want to talk about it. All right, and we're going to be talking about a spoiler alert. Warning, warning, warning. We have Kofi Kingston being the new Intercontinental Champion. The spoiler is already released. Um, by WWE on WWE.com that Kofi Kingston is the new um, Intercontinental Champion. What are your thoughts, Jose? Well, at least they gave me the 20 minutes of that match for first, but I can't believe that you know, WWE will come and spoil it. Why would they do that? I mean, they didn't do it for the Skip on Sheamus, and it was a bigger match, so why spoil Kofi versus the minute? I was actually going to this match thinking the was going to retain, but hey, surprise. <laughs> surprise, surprise. What, you guys what, what are my thoughts on this? I mean, it's kind of a stupid. Oh, hold on. the people. I need some of the people's water. Hold on one second. People's <laughs> anyway. water. But my thoughts on this, I mean, it's completely um, stupid to just put the spoiler out there. I mean, either way, it's only a one-hour show. I don't know, man. Remember what, what happened with Kurt Angle or with the Edge when they won their world titles and SmackDown, and you had, you know, basically Tuesday night you had uh, on WWE.com like the spoiler: Kurt Angle wins the title or Edge wins the title. So, and actually viewership was up. So this could be key. what happens now with the Miz and Kobe Kingston. Well, I want to see what's going to happen. And I, we were just talking about this. Could it be Team Kofi versus Team Miz at Survivor Series next month? Yeah, they announced it, actually. They're promoting that there's going to be a 10, you know, 5-on-5 five five tag team Survivor Series elimination match. So, so why not give, you know, every mid car guy a, a push and, you know, put them, all of them at the pay-per-view, right? Exactly, exactly. Oh, man. Well, but, what do you think about this decision to switch the title on main event and not probably at Kelly Nassel or Raw, man? What is your opinion about that? I mean, I, I think right now, I think the Intercontinental and the United States Championship right now has more prestige than the WWE Championship and the World Heavyweight Championship due to the fact that they're most often defended. Wow. Strong word. But it's true. Punk is never I, in the I main event. I don't think event. it's true, man. I don't think it's true. For yeah. example, CM Punk is writing that, you know, 300-something, 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 you know, longest title reign in 20 years, 25 years. I think that has brought on a lot of prestige to the WWE title. Basically. Well, first of all, let's get some straight. It's 331 days, and Punk is never in the main event when he defends his title. So... He was in the main event last night, man. Yep, that was last night. Well, that was, that wasn't even a match. That was a that was contract signing. Night of, that night of champions, man. He main event this night of champions. Oh man, what? And right now he is the main event for Hell in a Cell. So. Well, we don't know that yet. It could be Sheamus and, and Big Show, you, and then Dolph Ziggler cashes in. You you're gonna put Sheamus versus Big Show as the main event for Hell in a Cell. Uh, well, I'm not I'm the I'm not the booker. The now former Intercontinental Champion and go with really, really. Yes. Really. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Yes. No. No, 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 man. No. I'm the tag okay. team champions. You can be the tag team champions. I am the WWE champion. Nah, man. I I I, I still think I'm the World Heavyweight Champion. Whatever, you take that, you know, glorified Mitch Carter title of yours, and I'll stay with the real title. <laughs> oh, man. What you got? Dude, really, like, whenever we see Raw, it's basically shame as, like, Mitch Carter, and you see CM Punk main eventing with the WWE title. No. But, okay, let's get back on track. Miz is no longer the Intercontinental Champion. Do you feel he did anything for the reign, you know, for the title and, and his reign? Um... Sort of. I mean, he he had a nice he had a nice victory at Night of Champions, which I was at, which was. Yeah. Uh, Apart from that, what else did he do with the title? He basically won the title for Christian, did nothing for an entire month, defended against Ray, retained, did nothing for four weeks, retained against uh, you know, four, and then basically 
not done nothing but get squashed by Ryback and then losing to Kofi. I'm actually commending Kofi because we've seen a more intense Kofi, like remember late 09 when he was fighting with Orton? Yeah. That's the kind of Kofi that can actually main event our show. So Wait, I'm, like, I thought, I thought that, the I, outside of Kofi. No, I thought that was 2010 because that's when like late, oh, no, actually no, that, that, that actually was 2009. Shoot. There you uh, go, man. You don't question the, you know, the brains of you know, the wrestling of this man. Oh, hold on, as I take another sip of water. Whew, the, the, I need some of the people. Oh, 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 the pressure, the pressure is starting to get to you, my man. Oh, this refreshed me. To hide. I need like a second. I need like a secretary over here. Water, please. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Water, please. <laughs> anyway, I don't think the men did anything for the title. I don't think any champion has done anything for the Intercontinental Championship since Christian, in my opinion. And I hope that, you know, Kofi being now more aggressive, he brings, like, new prestige to the title. Because well, Kofi I mean, was he's a defending champion. I mean, he's had, I mean, a good other three Intercontinental kind of Championship reigns. I mean, he actually held that title for a pretty uh, decent time while he was uh, the Intercontinental kind of Champion for the past three times. Yep. But what about now? What do... Does the Miz get a rematch with Hell in a Cell, or what do you think they're gonna do now? That'll probably be the likelihood of that happening. It'll probably will happen. That's what I, that's what I don't like about WWE nowadays. But I mean, last two three years, they actually have the you know, title switch a week or two before the pay per view, and then they have the, the you know the rematch at the pay per view. It should be the other way around. It should. It should. And I mean, what? You know, you know, blowing like, like a big celebration, a big title change on a show nobody watches instead of on a pay per view where it actually matters. Exactly. But I'm telling you, man. I, I mean, I see Kofi doing a lot of things with that Intercontinental Championship. Hopefully, there'll be some new I, contenders for the title. Who do you think could be first in line after the Miz? After the Miz? Because the yeah. heel is going to no, the heel is going to be first. I want to say one of the members of, what was it, 3MB or something like that? The uh, group of Heath Slater, Drew McIntyre, or, or Jinder Mahal? Uh, three-man band. Yeah, the three-man band, 3MB. Three-man band. I think, I don't you know, I don't think the, the, the Encore 3MB or whatever the hell they're called, I don't think there, any of them is ready yet. If I see anyone getting a crack at the title, I think, although unlikely it will be Damien Snyder. I don't know why, but I feel that they're going to go that way. Now, what happens if the Rose oh, Scholars... Uh, now, let's say if the Rose Scholars beat the team of Sin Cara, Rey Mysterio, they advance and beat Team Hell No, what happens then? Then who challenges Kobe? Yeah. I believe they could give it to, you know, give a program with... I don't know, man. I actually don't know who could do it for the title. And right see, now. and this is what the problem Maybe is. Antonio. So you're not going to be into, like, double champion? Probably. Um, but or, si or truth or deal, maybe? I don't know. I, I really don't know who do you put against Kofi. You see, and the problem is nowadays, like, back in the day, you had so many contenders. Like, you didn't have to think about them. You, they just went into play. Now you have to actually think about what which superstar will exactly. it actually... Who's your mid-card right now? That's what I, I want to know. Who's your mid-card? The Dino Ryder are jokes. The rest are in tag team. You got Rhodes, you like, for example, Cody Rhodes, and the you know rest what? are, like, upper mid-card or, you know, low mid-card, for example. I would have said Dolph Ziggler, but he's Mr. Money in the Bank. And, o and over the summer, Rhodes, but he's and over the summer, they were actually giving Tyson Kidd a little bit of a push, you know, beating Tenzai, almost actually winning the Money in the Bank. Exactly. But now you've got actually no one. you got no one to challenge for the title. Uh, like, it's so hard nowadays. I mean, back in the day, you had so many yeah, contenders. You really have to be like, who? Maybe I return Jack Swagger? Maybe. I, I don't know. Is Jack Swagger, like, still, like, on his hiatus or something like that? Yeah, he's still in hiatus, but we don't know if he's going to return face or heel. He's never going to face. Uh, I don't know, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe Wade Barrett? Maybe he can get, like, a mid-card championship first before going... I think, so. I think he's supposed to be continental title right by now. I think they're one. They're they're making him a uh, number one contender for the title. You know how? Because they protected the results between Sheamus and Wade, and that's what happened with CM Punk and Daniel Bryan 
in like February and they had their feud like three or four months later. So I think you're going to have a Sheamus Wade Barrett feud for the title. So I don't think he's going to be available for Intercontinental. Now, this is going a little bit off subject, but how do you think, um, do you think the storyline will last between Sheamus and uh, Big Show? As far as the feud go, I don't see it going past Survivor Series. I know that I said the same thing about um, Big Show and Mark Henry, and look, they went for three, four months solid, so maybe. So anyway, uh, we're just going to leave with this. Pretty much, it's a shocker that Kofi Kingston was well, not technically a shocker. I'm actually happy that we have, you know, Kofi as the Intercontinental Champion. But yeah, the Intercontinental The shocker is the spoiler. And it, which it is. And um, so, uh, any final thoughts before we uh, cut this video short, Jose? Feed me more. I'm actually hungry. I know. Feed me more, and uh, I'm actually gonna drink another water. So we're out, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. Peace.